What up, though? This is Nathan Ray coming at you with the meeting after the meeting. Um, so today, I, I prayed this morning today when I got at work and, you know, I, I picked up another one of my co-workers, Prayer Rocks, and this time it said Joy. Well, one of my co-workers' name is Joy. Um... And I pray for her. Um, and she's been helping me out with a few things. And like, I really, really like this, dedicated this prayer like strictly for her and like thanking the God of my understanding for her. Uh, man, I'm really, really tired. Uh, and, and, I'm, and I'm with in this meeting and, and like I'm dozing off. And I know we were talking about like isolation and and I heard some people talk about deaths of loved ones. And uh, the main thing, though, is what we had a newcomer come in today. And towards the end of the meeting, you know, she asked if anyone had a book. And I can remember early in recovery when I didn't have a book on several different occasions. And someone bought me a book. And, you know, I, I looked at it that it was a great time that... I can be of service and I can give back what was freely given to me. Because I, I can remember when that person buy me a book and, and they just told me, you know, when you get the money or the means to buy somebody a book and someone is in need, uh, buy them a book. And that opportunity came today. And, you know, I bought them a book. Um, not letting them know it was from me, just, you know, pulling to, to somebody to the side and say, hey, you know, this 10 bucks for her book um because i said i was gonna give more and be glad to give and be thankful and grateful that i have the means to give and i and i am um man life is really really good for me today and it, the life and is beautiful and it's 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 a it's directly from me using the tools that I pick up along this life journey that I pick up from going to these 12-step programs because every day I pray and I meditate. Uh, every day I read some type of spiritual material and meditate on it. Uh, every day I try to attend some type of 12-step meeting. Every day, I put myself in a position where I can be of service. Even though I may have bad days and good days, uh, my good days outweigh my bad days. And it's, it, and it's directly from me practicing the, the spiritual principles of the 12-step programs. Um, man, I truly am blessed. Like, I've been writing an essay for this scholarship and you know and, and they want me to write about how my childhood affected who I am today and you know, pretty pretty dark childhood you know I, I grew up in, in uh, a dysfunctional household where you know my dad was an addict uh, alcoholic uh, my mom had her different struggles and uh, growing up in Detroit with the gang violence, you know, it was rough. And, you know, I, I was told that I wouldn't make it to be the age of 21. And here I am 46 years later, blessed. Um, told myself that I would never, ever do the thing that my father did. And I wind up becoming him. Um, but now I have made a change for the better. And being there and done all that, uh, I feel it's my duty to be able to help others come out of that darkness, come out of that trauma, come out of that, uh, come out of that addiction. Um, somebody help me out for free, you know. I truly feel like this is my purpose in life is to help others that struggle with addiction, that struggle with incarceration, 
the struggle with homelessness because ultimately that's what I am recovering from. And notice I say recovering and not recovered because this is life long journey for me. Uh, I get better at what I'm doing each and every day. Um, I guess I'm striving for perfection, knowing that I will never be perfect. So I have to do this for the rest of my life. Subscribe, like, notification bell. That's what's up. Peace.